for um, as per uh, a question like how we can insert a date in the plan start uh, in another short video so actually this this uh, bars here are calculated based on say for example when you are entering a number here this bar grows automatically and then that is calculated based on the conditional formatting as I have discussed it, uh, in the video already so those conditional formatting you can see it here so as you can see so it depends on this conditional formatting when you just click on something so for example this color says it's percentage completed so this color refers to percentage completed and then you can click on the cell and then see the actual formatting of the cell what they have used so here you can see that they have used the conditional formatting that wherever this percent complete this value of percent complete is true or one then to fill the, those cells with this color so to know what is this person complete you just press control f3 control f3 after closing this of course control f3 to open this name manager so here you can see the same name called person complete and then here you can see the formula corresponding to it person complete beyond into period incomplete yeah so this refers to this formula again this is person complete beyond and then period in plan is this one so you can see it's kind of a big set of formulas you can just I'm going to expand this fully but you can just see it, it just, just depends on so much of formulas in the background so here you can see also so the point is if you want the date here in plan start and whatever then you need to change all these things so the this is as good as um, in my opinion starting from the scratch so i would suggest better in case if you want for your reference a date then just insert a new cell a new set of uh, columns and then here you can insert a date I mean a date this is I think everybody knows this it's more common like you can just insert a date and then you can whatever format you want uh, so you can just insert a date and then you can change it um, as per your requirements here it was just like 2015 or so and then um, and then just the idea is these bars are drawn or the the person complete and everything comes based on the values in these cells so the idea is not to change the values of these cells instead just include whatever you want and um, when you are right clicking and uh, inserting inserting a new row here then all the form uh, all the formulas related to these rows will be automatically uh, shifted so you, we need not manually do anything say for example previously this was cell C this this plan start was uh, under this column C but now it is under column D but that is not going to create any problem because once you are uh, doing this inserting a new cell uh, inserting a new column in between then all the other things will be automatically shifted all the formulas related to it will be automatically uh, auto corrected so it's not a problem so here you can put the date uh, and then say for example if you're starting on the next day similarly you can with the same formatting you can insert the date here also say for for, for explanation purpose now I just drag it so here you can see it's Saturday yeah so instead of a number just a number here the only change you can do is like here you can enter the formula uh, it's not a it's kind of a simple uh, since 
all the all the all the formats here are dates all the formats in column c are dates um, date format you can just do a normal arithmetic say this value minus the first value is always going to be the start uh, start date probably so let us do that and then it still remains true you get the value actually so now whatever uh, date you enter here it, it is going to be based on this first value reference so if you are entering some other date here say instead of 3rd january i am just starting it on 10th january then i get 9 here automatically and then it just gets shifted yeah so this is a small kind of manipulation also i think it's my suggestion that you can use this or else you have to uh, i also don't know uh, i mean i also don't know the formula uh, i have not gone through all the formulas under each and every conditional formatting set since it's a temple uh, template already available so say for example i do not know by heart also all the formulas behind this each and every formatting yeah so instead of probing it too much and then changing each and everything it's better to for your reference it's better to do this and then in case if you do not want to see this then i think it's again simple kind of you can just hide it or maybe make it smaller as possible and then that should be fine yeah thanks